Okay, so we're here at the Taylors and Company booth at SHOT Show 2024 with Carrie, and she's going to talk about some of their new products. Well, thanks for stopping by. I wanted to tell you this year about the 1875 Outlaw in 9mm. This is based off of the original 1875 Remington, but we have chambered it in the versatile caliber of 9mm, which a lot of us are really familiar with. Uh, we think it's going to be a great way to introduce new shooters to single action styles, and um, it does maintain all the classic features and historical features of the original 1875. And that'll be great having that versatility to be able to, I mean, nine millimeters everywhere. So that'll be great being able to shoot it through an Old West style gun. Uh, do we know the MSRP on this one? MSRP on these starts at about six ninety five, dollars And uh, we do like to mention it does feature the standard side loading gate, like a normal single action. So there's no extra accessories, uh, which is kind of a cool fact. Yep. So no moon clips or nothing. They'll just go right into the cylinder and then you can eject them just like any other caliber in a single action revolver. So that's great. Thank you. Thanks so much. So we're here at the Taylors and Company booth still, and I was just looking at their model 1887 lever action shotgun. And honestly, that's smoother than some of the originals I felt. You know, those, those Chinese ones usually aren't very good, but this one's Italian made. And I mean, that's incredibly slick, really. Still here at the Taylors and Company booth. They've also got a really, really nice trapdoor carbine. This is made by Peter Soli. Beautiful color case hardening. Got your saddle ring carbine. Nice. So we're here at the Ruger and Marlin booth at SHOT Show 2024 with Eric and he's going to tell us about some of Marlin's new offerings for the year. Yeah, man, we're really excited to do that. Thank you guys for coming by. But you, you may recognize this this gun up here is the 1895 SBL. This is um, this is actually our 336 SBL. It looks very much like the 95. This was the first one we, we did when we, um, we brought a gun back here at Ruger. Um, it's obviously polished uh, stainless steel with the um, full length rail. Um, it is a, it, it's a gun that's been around a while, um, but still extremely popular. This one here is in 3030, and you'll be seeing that very, very soon. It's Marlin has never built this gun in a 3030, so uh, this is the this will be the first time, and uh, consumers ought to be seeing that within the next sh very short period of time. This second gun was this Trapper. Um, this is a real short, easy gun. It was actually conceived by by uh, uh, fishermen and fishing guides in Alaska that wanted a gun for, yeah. for bear defense. So it's as short as you can get it. It's impervious to weather. It's got a really nice Skinner sight on it. Um, so, and this one, these two are doing fantastic for us. This is the new one. This is the dark series. There was a dark series before we made a lot of changes to it. One is this polymer stock. We didn't want to have a hollow, traditional looking polymer stock. We got some M-lock, we got a little cheek riser here that you can take off. The cheek riser is great when you're using an optic, gets you, you sight line um, perfectly. So, um, so this is new, this polymer stock. Um, and then this, this uh, aluminum handguard, we make that right there in, um, in uh, Maydan, North Carolina with the rest of the gun. A really cool feature is this, um, is this lever. We've got a flare on this lever here gives you a lot of purchase on the back of your hand. It's very comfortable. Um, some other cool features, all the screws are Torx head. Okay. Um, this is the first time Marlin's ever done that. It was on the Dark Series. Um, it's great for our, our assembly guys. It don't scratch as much, but yeah. it's, it's a modern fastener. So um, it, really, it, it really works great on this gun. Ships with a muzzle brake. Um, if you don't like muzzle brakes, a lot of people don't. Um, we, we include a thread protector in the box. Yeah. So um, nice looking um, tritty or um, fiber optic front sight too. Looks yep. really nice. Yep. This is fiber optic. This actually has a little piece of tritium in the okay. front of it. There, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that, that helps light that that uh, fiber optic up. Um, it's got Cerakote on every part except for uh, the bolt and the the lever. Those are nitrided. They rub together. Um, nitride will, will, is a lot more wear resistant. Um, some of the small parts are blued, but for the most part, everything is, is a quality a quality finish. The 94 side, 
Um, we're, we've been shipping uh, 44 mags mm -hmm. um, for nine months, maybe 10 months. Um, we started shipping 357s oh, at the end of, of November. I'm excited about that. For right. Sure. <clears throat> so on the 94, the pistol calibers, you will see them in these configurations as well. Okay. Um, but I, I, I'm not tell. It, they're coming soon. Okay. I'm not going to tell you exactly when, but but we're not trying to hide the fact that we won't be doing these in 357 and 44. That's great. And of course, you got your uh, your classic guide gun here. This is carbon steel and blued, very much like this, mm -hmm. um, but but with uh, with a blued finish and a and basic buckhorn sights. So, All right. um, we got a lot of cool stuff coming. We're working on a lot of really cool things. Um, but but uh, these are the things we're we're showing and we're really proud of right now, um, and I, I, I can't tell our consumers how much we appreciate the fact that they've been hanging in there with us. And I mean, I felt uh, the actions on these. Let me tell you all, they're slick. Okay, I mean, say what you want about the old JMs, but every one of these new ones I've seen has been just as nice, if not nicer. I, I had one of the guide guns that shot it. I mean, they are nice, so. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's, yep. uh, that means a lot to me. Thanks, yeah. Thanks. They, they are. I mean. Ruger Mark IV, 75th anniversary. Nice tall front sight. Very nice wood grips. LCP Max, 75th anniversary. Pretty nice. A-Team model, Mini 14, holding stock, stainless. We're here at the Davidson's booth. They have a special Smith & Wesson Model 20. It's a fixed sight 357 Magnum in frame. MSRP $1199, limited to 250 guns, but this is a really nice gun. It's got some good looking grips, good action. I like the looks a lot. So we're here at SHOT Show 2024 at the Navy Arms and Keystone Sporting Arms booth. Um, I'm sure many of you all are familiar with their miniature Mosin Nagants in 22. Well, coming out around April, they tell me, they're going to have a miniature 1903 Springfield. Um, the price is going to be around $400. And, I mean, it looks the part. As soon as I walked up, I said, that's a little 1903. So that'll be really exciting. Make a great first rifle for a kid or maybe even for an adult that just wants to have the miniature 1903. It's just a really cool little gun. So we'll catch you on the next one. So we're still here at the Navy Arms booth at SHOT Show 2024, and we're looking at a new gun from Midland. This is a little 410 side-by-side, -side, double hammer, double trigger. And the neat thing about this, brake action, and then it's got this little button you push here. Folds up just like that. They said third quarter of this year is when it's expected to release. Um, it's going to be about $429 MSRP. But this isn't just a kid's gun. This has got a full length stock, so it feels pretty good. So, nice little gun. We'll catch you at the next booth. Stand by. Uh, uh, Shoot ready. Stand 